Hello and welcome to this short update video where we'll be looking at some of the recent changes to Revit 2024.1. For this video we will focus on the updates to the rebar tools, particularly with regard to tagging and editing of the bar. Before we look at that though, let's take a look at the properties palette and the project browser updates. In Revit 2024, Autodesk gave us the ability to search and filter in the project browser. So let's just take a quick recap of that. So in this example here, for example, if I'm looking for the word east, I can just type that in and the project browser is actually filtered and searched. What we can now do is hold down the control key and then with the mouse wheel, we can then zoom in and out of each of these palettes. It's particularly useful on the properties palette. So you can see I can't quite fit everything in here. Now, of course, I could stretch that to make that a bit wider, but then I lose a bit more of my screen. So a really useful thing here is just to better zoom out a little bit there so I can still read all of the text, but I can now fit everything in. OK, so let's now have a look at some of the tagging improvements to rebar. So this is quite significant. We'll take a look at the multi rebar annotation. So I'm going to select the annotate tab and I'll select multi rebar annotation and here we'll use the aligned multi rebar annotation. Now previously what would happen is pick position which is new to this release would be on by default. So basically when I'm actually selecting an MRA I would have to pick it here, I then have to pick a position, I then have to actually select my orientation perhaps vertical, and then try and place this down straight. But of course, what would actually happen is you'd never really be able to line these up. So if I place another one over here, you can see that it would be really difficult to actually try and get these aligned. In this release, you probably noticed there that as I actually move the tag, I can actually snap and align to previous tags that I've placed out, which is very, very useful. However, there's another really good change. So let's go back to multi rebar annotation and I'm going to switch pick position off. You'll notice that we can actually set our leader length up here. So I'm going to set this to 20 and I'll begin by selecting my rebar. I'll then pick a place here and you can see straight away that the MRA is placed down and the tag is placed as well. Now what's really useful with this is I can just continue to go through the project and you can see then that we get this really nice consistent way of tagging up the reinforcement bar. So this is much, much better than it was in the original 2024 release. As I said before, if the tags aren't aligned, then we can actually edit them. So if I place this tag here, you can see that that's not actually aligned. So I'll select this by pressing the tab key. I can then just use the move tool and can you see that it's now snapping to all of those other tags that I've just placed out. So that allows us to get very precise and accurate placement on all of the tags. Another nice feature here is to directly edit the reinforcement bar in the canvas. So I'm going to switch now to section one and we can see here we have this U bar. What we'll do is we'll just isolate this for a minute. So we'll go to the isolate elements and we'll isolate this particular rebar here. You can now see that when this is isolated, we actually have these tools here where we can actually edit each of the leg lengths directly within the canvas itself. So for example, if I want to make that 1000, I can now just type that in. It's a lot easier than having to go to the properties palette and editing it here. Let's actually create a bar bending sketch. So I'll select the U bar and I'll go to a bending detail here and I'll place out a bending detail. And now we can have a look at that in canvas editing again. So of course, if I go back to leg length A, which is currently 1000, let's say I want to update that to 800. We can see the minute I change that there, everything else is updated within the model. So that's a very nice change to Revit 2024.1. See you again soon.